a very happy Sunday to you all, and in particular, a very happy Bunny Day to you all, whoever celebrates Easter out there. I'm Kenna, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to There's Something in the Ice. We play as one of three scientists at an Arctic research station. We did some drilling into the ice, took some samples, and it seems we found something in the samples. Something not good. This looked like it took inspiration from the thing. We have chapters. Yeah, it looks like it took inspiration from the thing, which happens to be one of my all-time favorite horror movies. So I was like, I'm in, sign me up. I'm gonna check my settings really quick. Oh yeah, no, head bob off, always off. As always, I will leave a link to this game down in the description box below. But without further ado. In 2015, a team of scientists from the Arctic Station Zaria took ice samples for research from a depth of two kilometers. Just as they were about to return to base, a severe snowstorm began. Once they reached the base, they went down to the old bunker as security protocol instructed them to do. I like that there were subtitles to the subtitles. Subtitle section. Uh, oh. Okay. I just started and I got an achievement. Awesome. Wow, this looks really nice. Why? Why do I have a claw hand? Ooh, I don't know about that heater being so close to those lace curtains. Flashlight. I can't pick anything up. Boy, I th that flashlight's just right there in front of me, isn't it? I feel like at some point we're gonna need to come back for that. Oh, are we rushing? We from Mother Russia? What the hell is that? Okay. Yeah, looks really nice. Oh, person. I'll come back to person in a minute. I wanna look around. This door, this is the door to the basement. I don't need to go there now. Don't need to go there now. You know what that means. Sounds like a beating heart. Like maybe the generator room or something? Doesn't seem I can interact with anything. Oh, another person. With short, why do you have short sleeves on? Are you insane? We're about to square up, dude? What the hell? Oh, look, another flashlight with battery. Oh. Hi. Who? Oh, Victor. Listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. Are you talking about the Arctic? Oh. This Cold War bunker? About the bunker. It's so creepy here at times. Your mouth doesn't move. <laughs> yes. It's scary for me here, too. And regarding your question. You remember that strong storm that started and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Yes, I remember. The question was rhetorical. God, in two years with us, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor. You stupid lug. Well, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Okay, what about those samples that we found? You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. Okay, I'll go ask. With your wild hand gestures. Ooh! He's like A posing. What are you doing? <laughs> the power, the presence, the stance, the victor. Ooh. 
This is this is some Russian getup if I've ever seen one. Oh lord. Uh, that, uh, that looked like maybe a bottle of vodka. A nice little med kit. Okay, are you the microbiologist? The idiot not wearing sleeves in the Arctic? What is wrong with you? Ooh, keys. I have to come back for those too. I can't pick them up now. Wouldn't that heat lamp, like, mess up samples? Oh, hello, Ma Maya. How are things going here? It's good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What did we find? I'm not exactly sure yet. But it looks like some kind of microorganism. What do you mean by microorganism? Microorganism. Like we found what idiot. we were looking for, Thomas. We need to examine these samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Okay, I'll go contact the Zvidzda station. The storm should have reached them by now. I'll find out if they went down to the shelter. You're fountain of knowledge, Maya. Thank you. I should contact Zvids Zvidsta station and see how they're doing. Zvidinia. I have no clue what this is. Took about a year of Russian in high school. Can't remember a damn thing about it. Well, this seems like a hazard. Okay. So it's just the three of us, huh? Ah! Radio room. Ooh. Sad little child. Zvidzda station, Zarya is calling. Can you hear me? Zar Zarya? I repeat, Z Zvidzda station, Zarya is calling. Can you hear? I can hear you, Zarya. How are you doing there? Did you manage to go down to the shelter? Yeah, we're here. We're doing fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. He doesn't seem to be doing too well with this tight quarters. Who even sent him down here? Damn what? scientist. Why is Hank Hill on the radio? Well, I heard that someone from the government insisted on his transfer to the station. <laughs> it sounds like Hank Hill. Well, of course they did. <laughs> By the way, Ma said you guys found something interesting. I don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to find out what we found. <laughs> okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across yesterday. And you keep us informed. Over. Okay. Over. Ellipses. What the hell is this? Okay. I don't know. I feel like something's gonna get in that way. What's in here? <gasps> Dogs! No! No! They're gonna die! Why are there dogs? Oh god, and they're cute! Oh... No! Oh, why? Oh no! Oh god! It sucks, man! I can't get in there. Awesome. Yeah, the the scene and the thing with the dogs and the actual creature. Like, I have to fast forward through it. I can't watch it. <laughs> I'm like, no, not the dogs. Are these showers and toilets? Mother Russia, what do you do? That's oh, lovely. Okay. Okay, food stores. Look, dog food for the dogs that are gonna die. Well, I hope we like beans, because we got plenty of beans. 
Okay. I want I want a good layout of the place because when things pop off and they will, I want to know where the hell I'm going. I have no clue. Right. The electrical box room. We'll just call it that. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. What am I... What am I supposed to do now? Wait, can I go? Oh, okay. It's the blue tank room. What am I... Oh. Hi, guys. Should I... Hi. Okay. Um... Oh! Pour some tea in the kitchen. Hit tab to get your objective. Okay. Got it. Tea! <clears throat> We're just leave just leaving discs on the I need to pour some tea and rest a bit. From what? You walked around the base. Jesus! Damn it, Victor, why the hell are you creeping up? I almost poured boiling water on you. Sorry, Thomas. Maya's calling you. She says she's discovered something. Okay. So I'm literally just walking around with boiling water. I didn't put a tea bag in or anything. Awesome. Why are you dressed like a fashion model, Maya? What is this outfit? Good hey, Lord. Thomas. What's up, Maya? You just won't believe it. And you better put that mug on the table. Take a look at this. Okay, you're creepy. Dead eye stare. Oh, we're all here. Okay. Science. Amazing. Looks like a bunch of spike proteins to me. Okay, what? What did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. How is this possible? I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Do you have everything you need here? Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Agree. Okay, you keep researching. I'll go take a rest. <laughs> if you come running up to me again, one more time, Victor, like you're about to murder me, contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Tell them what we found. Maya, describe everything to them in detail. Congratulations, guys. Great job. I'll go take a little rest. Maybe by then the storm will be over, and then we'll think about how to spend, send the samples to the laboratory in Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, I'm gonna go take my boiling water and go take a rest, because boy, howdy, walking up and down this base just took it out of me. Which one's mine? Oh, wait. Uh, to read a book. Oh, okay. The sofa. If somebody says rest, I immediately think take a nap. <laughs> we gonna play the guitar. All right. So. Yeah. Huh? What was that? Hello? Um... Sounded like it came from here. Victor... Maya... Um... Maya? Victor? Are you here? The dogs are dead, aren't they? They're dead. I know they're dead. Oh, no! Stupid piece of... What's happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. Oh, uh, it's probably all because of the storm. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. Okay. I'll try and fix things and you can do something else for now. Like, stand there.
No. 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 What? How are you guys doing? Everything's fine? Are you bored? Well, of course it's boring here. <laughs> oh, your bowls are empty. You guys want to eat, right? I'll bring it now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna feed the dogs. I got your dog food. I'm coming. It's gonna be your last meal. <laughs> oh. There you go. Good job, guys. Bon appetit. Soon the storm will end and we will all come out of here together. We'll breathe fresh arctic air. We'll play in the snow again. Be patient just a little longer. No, they won't. I was standing on you. Sorry. <laughs> uh. What's with the happy, sweet music, you son of a bitch? <sighs> uh, I'll go to the kitchen. More tea. Here we go. More tea. Oh, well, oh. What are you going to do? I'll rest a bit and continue trying to fix the radio. That's not what I'm talking about. The radio works. It's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm. I'm talking about you and Maya. What do you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. Oh, Jesus. Don't make this up, Vic. We're scientists, and we don't have time for office romances. <laughs> Ellipses. Well, okay, I like her. So what? Well, why are you waiting? Life is too short. Uh-huh. I once missed my chance with a beauty from the Institute. Why'd you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up. Nope. It was a very long time ago. I see. You're a quitter. I understand. She worked with me on a project. We seemed to get along. Then I asked her out and we had a good time. What happened next? I need the deets, Victor. Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. And then here. So three years have passed. Yeah. Our work is merciless when it comes to our personal lives. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together, and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. Okay, Victor, you're right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her to see how the work on the samples is going. And maybe we can talk about something else. I'll try to cast a bait. Yeah, yes! Find out from her how things are going with the samples. And don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> what a joke you are, Vic. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. I was already told about this. Okay. Don't be upset about that girl. She's also a scientist. She understands everything. If everything went well for you, then maybe she's waiting for you. What the you hell like am I reading? Man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. Those samples? Huh? Samples? In your pants? I got it. God, don't be like Victor. If I can dispense a piece of advice, don't be like Victor. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, Thomas, you won't believe it. Maya, how are you doing here? I discovered something interesting here. These organisms respond to light. How's that? I did a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. She has dead Activity eyes. Activity dropped sharply. But when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? What? They've multiplied. Wow. Yes, can you imagine? 
I kept the box in the dark just for a minute, and they doubled in number. How is this possible? So they reproduce in the dark? Like us? Bow chicka bow well? It looks like it. And I noticed something else. Question mark, question mark, question mark? When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. And what does this mean? Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack, and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. Sounds interesting. That's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. Okay, I think that's enough work for today. We did a good job, especially you, Maya. Now come to my bunk. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. It's already late. We should all get some sleep. Maybe the storm will be over by the morning. Yeah, I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, okay. I'll go to sleep then. Okay, I guess I'm too... I'm too... Good night, and sweet dreams, Thomas. Good night to you too, Maya. My fashionista in an Arctic research base. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Mm. Okay. The dead shark eyes get me every time. I should have asked her to tea or something. What a fool I am. I don't think now's the time. Okay, so I guess now we get to go to bed. Oh, you're here. Oh. Okay. Go to sleep. <sighs> Go to sleep. So, I'm assuming we're going to need a flashlight. So, if something's in the base with us, does it, after what she said about it responding to light, it might not, does, maybe flashing them with our flashlight. Holy hell. Oh. <sighs> Flashing them with our flashlight, maybe like stop them or something? What the hell just happened? Oh no, our heater went out. Victor? No, I can't. Okay. Find Victor and Maya. Okay. Got a little dark here. What happened to the light? Probably the wiring is damp. I'll ask Victor to check. God. Victor, are you here? Can I? No? Wow. No flashlight, huh? Victor. Nope. There's no one here. Except my fancy schmancy teapot. What about babe? Babe? You here? Ooh! Maya? Whoa! What happened here? What about the dog? It's damn dark in there. I'm not going there without a flashlight. Okay. I think I saw a flashlight somewhere in the bedroom. Ah, thank you. Oh, wait, what's that? Is that a way out? F for flashlight. What the hell? What is that? Th damn. Great, it looks like all the power's gone out. Good thing I have a flashlight. Oh, this flashlight spread is gonna make things spooky. Okay. Do I need to maybe, whoa, blood? What the hell is going on here? 
Oh no. Okay. So maybe there's not battery management with the flashlight. Which is a major plus in my opinion. Thank you. It's the simple thing sometimes, folks. Okay, how does the radio room still have power? And nothing else does. Zara! Zep! Huh? Over. This is Zvidsta station over. No, it's not. We're Zara. There's Zvidsta. Zep. Calling. Okay. Repeat. Answer. Zvidsta, I hear you with interference. We have some problems with the electricity here. Over. Zarya. Did you hear what we found? We're dangerous. Zvidsta, hard to hear interference. Please repeat. Over. Zarya, I repeat. The stone that found. This, the remains of I, this, more than 8,000 years old. Zvedsta Station, please repeat heavy interference. I cannot hear you. Zarya, be careful. Find, maybe, dangerous, that stone. Which we found. It's something ancient. Radiation. Background can simply colossal. Your sample possibly related. Be careful. Holy shit, stupid old radio effing storm. Can't understand shit. Damn it, Bobby. Well, great. Now the connection is completely lost. They could, could make out a couple of words. They were saying something about their find, about that stone. It seems there was something else, something about radiation and danger. And also, it seems there was the word ancient. But I could be wrong. Well, that was some kind of nonsense. I hope everything's okay there. Some kind of nonsense. Wow. I, I, I doubt it. Okay. Bathroom still looks kind of crap. I don't want to go check on the dogs because they're going to be dead. Oh god! Brr, it's cold. So cold here. Oh. Hey guys, why are you barking here? What's happened? Scared of the dark? There's something that is in that freaking... Everything is fine. Don't be afraid. Everything is fine. There's like that hatch! Oh my god. Let them out, you dipshit! Bring the dogs a lamp. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm just prolonging the inevitable. Just leaving it open. Maybe they'll have the good sense to run. Seems the dogs are afraid of the dark. I need to bring them a gas lamp. Maybe it'll make them feel safer. What? Oh, I wonder where Maya and Victor went. I kind of, I think I ran through some of the subtitles, sorry. I can't, I can't click through them. Like I can the conversations, it just, they just pop up. All right, whoo! What's happening to the lamp? <laughs> the lamp's melting. <laughs> That's it guys, don't be afraid. Now you have more light than me. You have food and water, so be good little dogs while I look for Maya and Victor. Oh god. Oh god. Sounds like somebody's sharpening knives. That's the bedroom. Food. Nothing. Oh, wait. Oh. Almost looks like a gun case. 
Oh. Ew. Uh. Stuff on the floor. That wasn't there before, right? Yeah, I don't... What the F was that? Okay. Did it injure me? Oh, man. What is this? It looks like some kind of growth. There... They are organic? That is a lot of ours. I need to find the guys as soon as possible. Guys, I need to check the room with the generator. I think I heard something from there. Okay, wait. Oh, this is the generator room, down from the docks, of course. Yuck. Now it's clear why the generator turned off. This thing, it's everywhere. Yeah. And it sounds like it's breathing. That's creepy. Am I being rushed by something? Or I don't get what's happening. Yeah. Oh, that was an interesting noise. Uh, okay, well I can't go further into the room. Check the gener- I already checked the generator room. Oh! But now we got this happening. I guess let's go check that out, maybe. The light in the radio room's off now. That's great. Yikes. Well, it's just taking over the whole damn bunker, isn't it? That's not good. Continue searching for the two idiots. Okay. I don't know where else I can look. Oh, it's in here, too. Oh my god. This is our water. Well. Oh, it's just getting maybe a Brita filter or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this thing is spreading at an alarming rate. I wonder what it is. And where did Maya and Victor go? I'm starting to worry. You're starting to worry? I need to check the exit for the bunker. Maybe they went outside? Well, hopefully Maya found more suitable clothing. I guess, is, is this the exit door? I couldn't open it at the beginning. Ah. Okay, okay. Well, shit. Doesn't look like these doors were open. They can't be opened at all. Snow flew into the cracks between the doors and froze. Awesome. So are we just stuck in here? Oh, okay. Um. Okay, I did check the exit. <gasps> well, I don't. I don't want to go check that out. What is this? That's my objective. Objective. What is this? Oh wait, isn't that the basement? Oh yay! They seem to have a real huge black mold problem. Oh f this! No, no. Not only are you gonna kill the dogs. But you have a flooded- oh, gross. <sighs> Shut up, stupid achievement. Oh, god. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if whatever this is doesn't kill us, black mold's gonna get us.
What? Who was that? What, did the door close? Am I stuck in here? Uh... Okay, I can't mess... Uh, the door did close! What the hell? Okay, ow! Come on! What the hell got me? Can we... I'm not... Hello? Door? I'm interacting. I'm trying to push it. Okay. Is it the stuff? I can't... Am I touching... Shouldn't be touching the stuff on the walls? To crouch. Okay. What the hell? What the F was that? It seems something bit me underwater. Oh, fantastic. We're infected now. I guess if something was in the water biting us, it wasn't the actual, like, biomass on the walls. Okay. Oh. Wow, this stuff, like, wastes no time whatsoever. F. These growths. They're already everywhere. Why are they barking again? I need to check quickly to see if everything's okay. <laughs> it's not. It's not! All bad. Everything. Fuck. Did I die? Hello? Am I dead? What happened? Oh, I just need to turn my flashlight on. Oh my god. Okay. Smooth brain moment. Ah! What's happening? No! <gasps> Leave them. Shit. No, I told you. I... You... Oh, I hate this game. No, give me back my huskies. Oh. Check the dog. Yeah, I checked the dogs. The do dogs were dead. I knew they were going to be. Give me back my son. Ugh. And you know it wasn't a quick death either. I can't think about it too much. I'll actually get really upset. Something dragged the dogs into the ventilation. Well, get in get in the ventilation shaft and, and bring them back. I need to try to contact the Zvizda station again. Really? Station Zvizda. Zarya is calling. I don't know if you can hear me, but we have an emergency here. Two of my team are missing and I can't find them. And also, there's some kind of evil here. It seems something killed our dogs. There's some strange organic substance everywhere. Zvedsta, please answer. I don't know what to do. Z Z Z please, please answer. Take a hint, bro. I need to get out of here. This thing is already everywhere and spreading very quickly. And what it did to the dogs? God, I'm over it. What the hell? Yeah, thank you. Uh, again, I don't know if something like ran by or what. Oh, something's breathing. Those are lovely noises you're making. So how do I get out of here, dude? You said the door's blocked. I need to clear away the snow. I can't do it with my bare hands. It seems there was a shovel in the bunker somewhere. Somewhere near Maya's laboratory. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Really? 
Okay. Shovel. Oh. I like that the biomass is like like breathing or something. That's kind of weird. Oh. Great. Now I need to clear away that snow and get out of here. Hi, welcome to my bunker from hell. I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go shovel some snow. I need to hurry up. I don't want to be here for a second longer. Damn it. it. I think I hear dogs. Are they alive? You are such a liar. They're dead. Don't do that. Come on. Come on. Don't give me hope. Oh, it's cold. The storm doesn't seem to subside. I'm in the Arctic, dude. I need to try to contact this visitor station on the radio, but when we left the base, we closed all the doors except for the recreation room on the first floor. The key must be there. Damn, doors to the bunker. They're open. Have the guys really gotten out of there? Wait, I thought we just left the bunker, but it was on the other side. Okay. What's down here? I need to go to the base to get the keys to the radio room and contact this Vesta station. Okay, fine. Guess the game won't let you explore any. Doors closed. There's another one on the other side. Okay. Honey, I'm home. You won't believe what happened down in the bunker. Here it is. Hey, <gasps> can you hear me? Oh, please, somebody. Victor, where have you gone? I woke up and you weren't there. There's some crazy shit going on in the bunker. Something took the dogs away. They're gone. <laughs> Thomas, is that you? God, I'm so glad to hear you. Listen. I need help. What happened? Where are you? I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. Okay, don't move. I'll be right there. Okay, I'm waiting. Please hurry. Ellipses. All right, let's, I guess, go get our, our boy. There's a hangar over there. A hangar or the hangar? What the? There's a light, and it seems like someone is knocking on the door. Ooh, I don't trust that. Victor's in the hangar. Okay, let's, I guess let's go to Victor? I need to check where these knocking noises and lights are coming from. Okay? Hey, who's there? Victor, please, let me out. Victor. Open up. Oh. What's gotten into you? Maya? What's happened? Thomas? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Why are you locked? Why are you locked? Maya, why are you locked? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely. Tried to attack me. Mm. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. What do you mean? Did he attack you? Yes. He chased me all over the bunker. But I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me and locked me here in the lab. What the hell? For what? Why? I don't trust her. I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Are the other doors also closed? How can I get you out? Yes, he closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Maybe there are spare keys to the lab in the break room. Maybe. I'll go look. Are you okay here? Yes. I'm okay, but hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Okay, don't be afraid. I'll be right back, babe. Dude, uh, mm, I don't trust either one of them. Am I going to have to choose between them? What the hell is going on here? My ice seems to be safe. I need to help Victor. He should have the keys to the laboratory. And at the same time, I'll ask him about this situation. Okay. Uh, how long do I have to wait for you, Thomas? I think I'm getting worse. I'm on my way. Listen, I met Maya locked in the laboratory, and I'm very interested in what happened to you two. She said you chased her and then locked her in the lab? What the hell? Don't 
trust her. Uh -oh. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried to either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobiles before waking you up, but stuck. Okay, wait. I'll be there soon and we'll figure it out. I don't know, dude. I don't know if I trust either one of them. I think all this is a red here, baby. I hope everything's okay with Victor. No, it's not. It's not going. He's either going to try and kill us or he's going to die because Maya tried to kill him. Oh, hey, bud. Finally. Victor, there's a lot of blood here. What happened? He told you. Uh, you sure know how to calm me down. I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Uh, why are these so heavy? Yeah, I don't know. We were never told what they were storing in that this hangar. Okay, what happened with you and Maya? Do you really want to fucking talk Ooh. about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. Okay, how do I do this? That box looks heavy as hell. I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. Crowbar? Like a long metal piece. Ah, bring it. Maybe this way you can lift the box and I'll try to get out. Okay, I'll look for it. Hurry! I can't feel my legs anymore. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. Let's see a little crybaby. Well, we've got a, like, workbench over here. Doesn't look like we're on a time limit, per se, so... You just you hang in there, buddy. <laughs> I'll be with you when I can. Oh, it's blocked off. Okay, so nothing. Uh... Oh, what the? Awesome, something closed the door. Oh, hey, look at this, it's a cry bar. Oh. Victor, no. Uh, well, oh, oh, ah, what the hell? Oh, yikes, Victor. It somehow undressed you, too. Huh. What, our objective, what the F is going on. I need to find the keys, get my out, out and get the hell out of here. Okay. Uh, to say the dialogue is a little clunky is an understatement. Oh, I can't get out. O okay. I... I mean, it's not clunky to the point you can't tell what's trying to be conveyed to you. What the hell am I doing? What? Oh. Oh god, sorry, Victor. You won't need keys anymore. <laughs> it's true. Uh, yeah. It's scattered boxes. I need to find another way. Maybe there's a pas passage somewhere between the boxes. Don't make that noise at me. Dude, oh, Lord Jesus. Hey. I keep thinking I'd die when that happens. I need to free Maya as quickly as possible and then contact the Vidstead station and call for help. Oh, Maya's light is on, and it's very bright. She can attract this thing. Oh. Okay. Turn off the light, Maya. Please, turn off the light. No, let it get her. Whoa, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, shit. Um, maybe I can loop it? Oh, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, no. Stop it. Can I go more? Ow! I'm, st I'm literally stuck. Stop, asshole. What, can I not die? Dude, I'm taking a beating. Okay, let's take a wide loop and hope for the best. Maybe I can't die. Was this supposed to be a sneaking section? Because if it was, I don't... What the up is that? I don't think I can get in here. Uh, 
Okay. Oh shit, what the F is that? It's the thing that keeps punching you in the face or the back of the head, dude. Somehow, some way, it got in there. Oh, what? What is this creature's hitbox? What the shit? This thing is here. I need to quickly contact the guys from Zvidsda Station and ask for help. Well, here's the radio room. There's a large antenna on the roof of this building, so the signal should be better. Okay. I think there are some sounds coming from the bedroom. I need to check. No, you don't. It could be the thing that keeps sucker punching us. Oh. It's you. The runway model. Maya, I thought he devoured you. How did you... I managed to escape just as he broke through the roof. What is this creature? I have no idea, but I saw something strange in the bunker. At first I saw something that looked like a worm. Then I noticed that in the room from which he ran out, some growths appeared. It seemed organic. Something just whispered gross? to me. Yeah, then I decided to look for you and noticed these growths in the rooms too. And then the dogs. What and then about the dogs? They, they're dead. Something dragged them into the ventilation. Oh my god. This whore. Yeah. What is this? What exactly is going on here? When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. So I decided to go and do a couple more tests. It haunted me that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. I started watching them again. Then I decided to go have a cup of tea. And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently, I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. God, my... What? I didn't do it on purpose. Anything can happen. Uh -huh. Anyway, we have a whole block of anyway. ice cream samples. Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. What happened? Why did Victor attack you and chase after you? When I woke up, I went to the toilet, and Victor was there. He just stood there, looking in the mirror. You know, like a zombie. Mm -hmm. And next to him, I saw an overturned bucket with a rag. And it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime. What the hell? So I asked Victor, but he didn't answer. When I came closer, I saw his empty gaze. He turned to me, but it was like he was looking through me, you know? And then what? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker, there was a way out. I was so uh -huh. scared. I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Victor ran after me, caught up with me at the base and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like something was controlling him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. Shit. That's for sure. Then he left, as if he heard a call. He walked toward the hangar, and after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him. Together, we can handle him. Tie him up, call for help. We can't do this. What do you mean we can't do it? Victor's dead. What? How? What the hell? This thing killed him. I tried to help, but I couldn't. Damn. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? I don't know, Maya. And to be completely honest, I don't even want to know. All I want is us to get out of here. So let's get out of here. What's the plan? We need to try to contact Zvidzda Station. The antennas here are much more powerful, so we can easily contact them. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Yes, we will contact them and ask them to take us out of this hell. What about this creature? The two of us definitely can't handle it. Let's not act like heroes. We'll just call for help and then we'll tell them what happened here and let them decide what to do. Yeah, we'll pawn it off to okay. somebody else. That sounds reasonable. There's no electricity, but we can try to power the radio from batteries, so I'll go to the hangar to get them and you stay here. It'll be safer that way. And Maya, if anything happens to me, don't cry for me, Argentina. Hey, nothing will happen to you, okay? Yeah, okay. Be here, barricade all the doors, and for the love of God, don't turn on the light. Looks like the light attracts him from the bull. 
tracks him like a bull's red rag. Jesus, okay. God. Be right back, babe. The woman I don't trust. Or shouldn't trust. But apparently we're thinking with our small brain. So, you know. Is that thing down there? It's not throwing a bitch fit. I can't hear it, so maybe not. I don't know. I have to say, for the most part, the sound design's been pretty damn good. Can I take that? No. We need to be careful. This creature's somewhere nearby. <laughs> Apparently it hits like a bitch though, because I'm not dead. Just gonna leave my flashlight off. Alright, so we need battery from the hangar. Oh, we've been decorating. Yeah, I'm sorry, I need the flashlight on. I cannot see without it. Through the tulips. Okay. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Hey, battery. Give me that. Here it is. Do I need another one? Now I need to take these batteries to the radio room and plug the radio into them, and we can finally call for help. You left me, Thomas. Well. Victor? I like that. I like that little touch of hearing him in our head. here I can't see in this here I can see better outside but yeah that ain't happening oh he's literally right okay he's right there he's his stupid Oh, he's not coming at me. Is he stuck? You stuck, you dumbass? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... Sneaky deek around here. You hear nothing. You see nothing. You sense nothing. You're a stupid ice creature. Maya's gonna be dead, isn't she? I'm gonna have gone and done this, and she's gonna be dead. Oh, he's gonna see me when I get to those flares, though. I think he might be stuck. Okay. What the hell? What is your range? That sucks, dude. Oh. Oh, barely escaped. Maya, I found the batteries. Now I'll connect them and we'll contact the guys. 
Thomas, there are samples left in the laboratory on the third floor that we examined. We must take them with us so that we can study them properly in more suitable conditions. I know you're mad at me right now, but what kind of scientists would we be if we didn't take these samples with us and study them properly? We must understand what it is. We have to... P.S. Contact the guys from Zvidsta and call for help. I'll be there soon. You are the dumbest hooker on planet Earth. Maya, stupid when you get rid of this crap. Not take these samples with us. Oh. Yeah. I don't trust her either. Oh. oh. Zarya Station. Answer. Zvezda, how can you hear me? This is Zarya. Thomas, how can is you that hear you? Me? What the hell's going on over there? Maya said that you and Victor died. And now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? What? Why did she say that? When? Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was crying. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked you and oh, her. God. She said he fucking killed you. <laughs> then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. After that, we tried again to contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. Damn. Zvezda, there's some real F... There's some real F'd up going on here. It looks like there was something in those eye samples we found. Maya said it was some kind of ancient microorganism. I don't know how, but he evolved very quickly. Now this is no longer a microorganism, but a full-fledged monster running around our base, and it killed Victor. That sounds crazy, Thomas. Seriously, are you trying to make jokes there? This is no joke. It effing tore Victor to pieces, dragged the dogs into the effing ventilation. The whole bunker is overgrown with some kind of organic matter, and I have no idea what the hell it is. Please get us out of here. Please, I repeat, this is not a joke. Okay, everything will be fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? No effing way I can calm down. Yes, me and Maya. She's waiting for me in the laboratory upstairs. So Maya is alive? Yes, here I am. Maya and this terrible monster. Oh, okay. What is that? Even? Okay, here. calm down, Thomas. Stay safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. In what effing sense within half an hour? It takes about ten minutes to fly here by helicopter. I, in what effing sense? I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. Exactly. Effing storm. Sorry, there's so much going on here that this storm doesn't seem like a problem. <laughs> I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? I understand, Zvezda. Waiting for you. Please hurry up. I don't know how long we can hide from this creature. Over. Yeah. Definitely clunky dialogue. She's a liar, Thomas. He said that my radioed him and said that Victor killed me, but that's not true. She's Why did she afraid. lie to them? Yeah! I like that little touch of, of Victor whispering to us. Oh, fantastic. I guess we go up to the third floor. We need to go upstairs to check if my is okay and hurry her up. Guys, guys, be here soon. Guys, be here soon, everyone. And at the same time, I'll ask her why she said Victor killed me. Because she's a lying whore. Again, think I'm with your small, small brain, Thomas. Us ladies are tricksters. I don't mind telling you. Oh, this looks lovely. Has she become one? Maya? Still want to get some tea with her? Well. <sighs> Bye, Maya. Your stupid ass outfit. <laughs> Why the F did you come here alone? Why did you need these samples? I told you to stay and wait for me. <sighs> no effing way. I won't wait here for my death. I need to get out on my own. <gasps> I need to check the fuel on the snowball bells and find the keys to them somewhere. Maybe Victor had them when he, when he died. I'm sorry, I hear doggies. Wait. It's a psych out, isn't it? Did they live? Or like maybe two of them? I saw only one get taken. What do I do? Snowmobiles or puppies? Is that the dogs? Are they alive? 
empty. Okay. Empty. They're all empty, dude. Get with the program, Thomas. My God, he's a scientist, huh? Jesus Christ. Doggos. It's a psych out, I know, but I don't care because it might not be. Wait, where are they? Where? Huh? Okay. That's a fun little noise. Come here, buddy. If only, if only. Ooh, can I get up on that? What the hell kind of jump is that? There's no fuel in any of the snowmobiles, so I'll have to find some. Surely it was somewhere in the hangar. There were many canisters there. No, no let's just go. Clearly, the creature is... Am I going crazy? Yeah. Um, clearly, the creature doesn't really have any serious threat. Because it smacked us around a good bit, and I'm not dead yet. I live, bitch. So, we're just gonna go. Stop breathing in my ear like that. I don't know, man. This game's very, very mixed bag, you know? Very mixed bag. My god, poor Victor. Hello? Oh. Saying the wrong thing, of course. Yeah, well, I mean. Fuel can check. Snowmobile keys check. All right, now I need to fill up the snowmobile and get the F out of here. Boy, I hope you're bundled up. Run, Thomas. Oh. What in God's name? All right, I'm just going. I don't have time for any of this. I'm trying to, Victor. Thank you. I don't know what you mean by save yourself. You're both dead. So, yeah. That's really the only thing I can do. <clears throat> Alright, I choose you, Pikachu. Oh, boy. Crank it! What are you doing? Just start it, dude. Oh, you're taking your sweet ass time, Thomas. Why are you looking around? Just go. Oh my god, you're the worst. Oh no! Crustacean man's pissed. Oh, is that a helicopter? That was short. Is that gunfire? What the hell is happening? I think there's a full-on war happening in the Arctic right now. Okay. Wait, my objective is still on the screen. Oh. So you're saying what? that you were scratched by something what? underwater in the basement, right? I don't care about that. Did you listen to what I said? The damn thing killed Maya, Victor, and all the dogs. We need to effing burn everything that was on the base so that this monster doesn't get out. What is happening? You do realize that we need to ask you about what happened, right? It's our job. Yeah, sure. Sorry. So much has happened, and thanks for getting me out of there. Who the hell are you? No problem, Mr. McReady. 
Okay, we'll continue later. Okay. Kurt Russell's name was McCready in the thing. <laughs> oh God, are you feds? Jesus, I can't get away from you people. Ugh, my head. Oh, hi. So I'm infected. Why are they standing there just observing me if I'm not infected with something? That's a nice napping couch over there. Hey, boys. How do you feel, Thomas? Uh, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Who are you? Where am I? Don't worry. Everything is fine. You better get some rest. Uh. Oh, what the hell? Um. Hi. I seem to have injured myself somehow. Can I leave? Okay, what am I supposed to do? I said I should get some rest. Should I? Should I just go back to bed? Can I go back to bed? Um. Hello? <gasps> what the hell? What is this? Shake it off, buddy. Shake it off. Is that RTD2? <laughs> Oh my god, they are feds. We're dying. We're infected and now we're dying. Can we... Oh, we were fully dressed. Thomas, are you okay? Uh, no, I'm, I'm dead, I'm face down and pull of my own blood. You dumbass! What, <laughs> what kind of question is that? Ew! It literally sounds like somebody trying to suck something out of their teeth. I can do it too. I could be a Foley artist. At least we went out in our finest flannel. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, it's the Sandworm from Dune. Well, I guess there was something indeed in the ice. Is that it? That's it. All right, well, hmm, like I said, mixed bag. Let's let's think of some pros. I I liked the thing, atmosphere, the aesthetic. I kind of feel like it's a it's a scenario not really tapped into by a whole lot of horror games. Um, you know, arctic bases being trapped again taking inspiration from the thing, you know? Uh or maybe I'm just not looking in the right places. It looked good. This was a really good looking game. It ran fine, uh, really well. I had no technical issues with it. Sound design, I think, was really good. You know, the whispering, Victor whispering to us there at the end. The the kind of biomass, like, breathing and moaning and everything. I liked that. I think the length of the game was good. I will add a caveat to that. But I think for the most part, it was a good length. Um, the caveat to the length is I feel like the last section was kind of a little bit of a filler, like going back and forth to the hangar, getting the battery, getting the gas canister, uh, Maya leaving to get the samples. It just it kind of was, it could have, I feel like wrapped things up a little bit better. Um, dogs dying is a huge con. 
horrible character models were kind of stiff. The mouth's not moving isn't like a huge problem. A lot of games have that. But um, at one point, Victor looked like he was kind of A-posing. <laughs> Creature design, I feel like it would have been better if it was more bipedal. That kind of spider crustacean looking bottom half, eh, not a huge fan of. I feel like if you have some kind of monster and it's more human looking, it's way scarier. That's just my opinion. Um, so all in all, like I said, mixed bag. I think it had some really good elements. I just don't feel like it capitalized as much as it could have on the positives. Um, but yeah, those are just my thoughts. Like I said, I think there's enough good stuff here. If you kind of want kind of a, a run of the mill indie horror game, um, there's no replayability value. Um, so it's a one hit wonder here. But you all can let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for spending some of your Sunday and Easter with me. I do appreciate it. I hope you got some entertainment out of this. I'm going to leave a link to this game down in the description box for you all. I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday and a wonderful and happy Easter. Don't eat too much candy. It doesn't matter if a cute little bunny rabbit gave it to you or not. Don't eat too much candy. Uh, and I will plan to see you all sometime later this week. You all take care. Bye.